this is also uh, this is uh, the video stuff that I wanted to give and tell people especially John Reagan this is for you this is the stuff that my sister had actually did and if you want to see it's really cool this is James Brown Santana all the stuff and the side to Santana practice hope you're there feeling this is all recorded on reel to reel back in 1970 I think uh, another one uh, believe it or not we did Foreigner Eric Clapton the Bee Gees Saturday Night Live this is some of my other my dad stuff he did some pretty good stuff here too if you can look at it and a lot of a lot of it is stuff that I um, my sister just gave me and at the end this is actually you can see um, it says on the edge Roxas tape my sister's tape I think this may be Led Zeppelin The Who and everything Don Carter's rock concert this is really really cool um, and there's another one this is uh, my sister's writing of course Twist and Shout stuff that we have from a long time ago this is when we were very very young my sister is two years older than I am and James Brown all this stuff um, this is art again my dad having stuff here and this is my tape you see Eddie's tape that's when I was a musician and I was doing stuff I was with uh, um, played my cymbalum and all, I was 17 instruments when I was younger uh, from when I was uh, uh, 7 to at least 11 years old playing this stuff and my music teacher was uh, real cool but these are all our audio tapes we have so many of them that I need to get on to digital somehow and of course we have blanks that we can do our stuff with and this is for John this is all our stuff we have so many tapes um, we have you know, of course uh, these are blanks that's not, that's not a problem look at all these John we have some seven inches sixers fives 20 23 of these little guys like you guys like you have see these guys right here there are a lot these are all fives sixes sevens we got a lot of stuff and this is why I'm saying that I don't think um, is gonna be fruitful to uh, from my family and my brother my sister to actually do all this stuff but a lot of these audio tapes, um, if, you were, if you don't remember, whoever you are out there, um, Don Kirsch's rock concert back in the late 60s, early 70s is really, really cool. And my, my sister and I recorded it on my dad's Ampex. If you can see it, Ampex. There you go. John, Ampex AX50. It's really cool, and we recorded all the audio on this thing. Now, before some of this older stuff, we recorded it on my dad's thing. I'm not sure where it came from, but this here is probably uh, 40 years old now. Now, my sister said that things are not kosher here. And I'm gonna pull this off. And I know a long time ago, my dad and I used to clean these heads off and stuff the turntable, 
the routers, uh, the rollers, and all this stuff. My sister said that a lot of this stuff it is like doing double tracks and stuff like that. But as far as that concern, I need to ask somebody, can I do with rubbing alcohol like I used to do? And I don't think that's what it was. I think my dad had a special oil or a special alcohol thing, a head cleaner or something like that. We used to clean it off all the time and put it through. Um, my sister said it still works. It's got power supposedly. Everything's cool. The power cord is great. It's still nice and malleable. Everything's good. And then we have the thing in the back here. The RCA jacks here. That's not bad. We just did that. The fan still seems to work, I guess. Yeah, right back here. But Ron, or John, I mean. Yeah, no. If I ever get rid of this, this is going to you. Um, but I want to get my, all my audio stuff onto digital. But if you want this, you can have it. And um, that's really cool. And hopefully it'll work and everything's really cool. This is one of the best top of the line. My dad always bought the top of the line stuff. Realistic stuff back in the 70s is really cool. Turntable, all that stuff. Yes, of course, I got rid of it. My sister got rid of it. Um, it was really cool. But this is our thing that we have to try and transfer from audio or movies, Super 8 stuff that we've got a ton of junk not junk awesome stuff um, 1968 from our time when we came back from uh, Washington DC back to California Yosemite um, it says Roxanne and David the White House Kennedy's grave unknown soldier 1967 New York City Statue of Liberty this is so cool um, this says uh, Knott's Berry Farm, 1968, Yosemite, uh, Disneyland, which is pretty cool. Um, so my dad was really meticulous about putting labels on everything. 1965, the summer 1965 at Marineland and Disneyland. Marineland, which is technically SeaWorld now, in um, California. Um, all kinds of stuff. Uh, let me grab another one. Here. pretty cool. Uh, Christmas, 67, my, my sister's my birthday, 1967, my communion, 1967, it's pretty cool, and then we got, uh, no, no, no label, but it's pretty good, uh, let's see, September, 67, Niagara Falls, Clemens, Ohio, my cousin's in, in uh, Ohio, Eisenhower's home, and it's 67, pretty cool stuff, um, we need to get Cheyenne, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado River Picnic, Colorado, the Garden of Gods, the Royal Gorge, which is so awesome, really cool. Um, Elias Garden, August 1970. That was for us, for me, 38 years ago. Um, yep, no name. Here's another one. Um, he labeled all kinds of stuff. My dad was really good. Uh, my, me, my brother, and Roxanne, my sister's communion. Uh, Thanks, crew party, 1966. Pretty awesome stuff. Um, but that's his stuff, and he's got all little notes and everything and all this stuff. And and David, look at this. Uh, it says, it is graduation. If you can't see it, it's kind of hard to see. But, John, uh, this is the little guys. This is pretty cool. Now, um, the thing that's hard to do um, is that I can pop it out. But according to what I know, and I think if you can see it, John, this should be Super 8 or 8 millimeter. I'm not sure. I think all of them are like that. Um, and yes, again, um, it could be Super 8 or 8 millimeter. Um, this definitely, most likely, is 8 millimeter stuff. Um, I can pull it out here real quick if I can. Um, but this is it says processed by AFCA. If you can look at it, and the width of it, I would say it would be um, the same as the other one. But 
it is, I think, 8 millimeter. I'm not sure, but I don't know the difference between 8 millimeter and um, Super 8. I think Super 8 has sound, I suppose. I don't know. But these are other discs. I mean, we've got so much stuff in here that we really got to do. And like I said, John, it's going to cost a lot of money, but, you know, I've got audio. I've got stuff i got to do here. I've got this over here. I've got a lot of stuff that I've got to really do. And if anybody knows out there besides you, which is the best way how to act, what to do, be great. Thank you. Bye.